Hello everyone, my name is Arnold Nyenba. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Afnon, based here in Lusaka, Zambia. I also happen to be an entrepreneur and also an inventor of the first stainless steel stove in Africa that has been recognized by Black Entertainment Television, BET, among the African icons in Africa in different space, but in line with my work that is in technology. At Afnon, we have developed two stoves basically which we are producing currently and this is a Jovin Eco Smart Stove and also the Jovin Stainless Stove which happens to be running on three fuels LPG gas, electricity and solid fuel. With the Eco Smart Stove that we are having as a product it uses solid fuel and is able to save up to eight hours of your fuel once you're cooking. We've achieved so much over the years and I'm also part of expert group on climate change that happens to be running on UN with carbon credits. As you may be aware, Zambia is part of the Congo Basin. And this Congo Basin, we need to tackle the issue of climate change. On the top of the agenda ourselves is that we really need to support these initiatives to end climate change. Being a business person, being an entrepreneur, being an inventor, I'm responsible to ensure that we have a sustainable, clean environment. So I'm excited over the past two years. I and my team at Afnon have quite achieved a lot. We've been able to win about 30 awards around the world, starting from US to Africa to UK. One of the great awards that we've achieved is the Global Youth Awards for the Burst Environmental Innovation. And one of the, the most greatest achievement of them all is the Solar Impulse Efficient Solution Label. This World Seal Label that represents efficiency of solution. We've been labeled among the 1,000 efficient solutions in the world that will protect the environment in a profitable way. The Solar Impulse Efficient Solution label brings a great significance and a big breakthrough to not only African tech, but to the rest of Africa, that we have a solution that has been listed and labeled among the 1,000 efficient solutions in the world. It is indeed a time that we all need to rise up together and to see that we tackle these issues and that we are having a more sustainable future. A World Bank report suggests that about 4.3 billion people up to date don't have still access to clean energy and that afternoon we are set to achieve that and that we should be able to tackle such issues.